So here is one more really cool application of emission spectrum. Um, I'm gonna shine some ultraviolet light on minerals. Thanks to Mr. Stafford for loaning the minerals to me. Um, and you'll be able to see how they glow under two different wavelengths of UV light. I've got a short wave and I've got a long wave. So now think about it. Which one has more energy? Which one has less energy based upon what you learned about the relationship between wavelength and energy? All right, so let me pause it, turn the camera around so that you can see everything. And uh, that this will be our last part. So here we have the minerals, um, you know, in white light and I'm blocking the window light as best I can. Nothing really too exciting to see, a lot of whites, a lot of grays and so forth. But look what happens when we shine ultraviolet light on them. Okay, so this is the long wave. So you can see some pretty oranges and greens coming out. Look what happens to that one at the bottom. It glows like a blue. So even though it, it looked a little green there when we put the UV light on it, we've got purples and more greens and oranges and yellows and reds. Very cool, huh? So then now I'm gonna switch to short waves. So think about what you're seeing here. Pull it back as much as I can. I'm gonna switch to short wave. Oh, look at that. We got a lot of different colors going on now. So check that out. That one at the top, so cool. So what kinds of minerals are in there? You're probably wondering. That would be a Stafford question. I don't know. But we get a lot of, a lot of oranges and yellows. There, I thought there was one that gave us red. I guess that one gives us kind of red. But neat, huh? So these are examples of emission spectrum from the, the atoms that are in these minerals only see them under UV light. Under white light, they don't look any different. So there's white light. Kind of boring. Long wave and then short wave. One thing I wanted to share with you, uh, a few other emission spectrum products that you are familiar with. Um, first is glow sticks. Um, a chemical reaction uh, causes the light to glow and give off an emission spectrum. So when you pop, when you crack the glow stick, what you're really doing is allowing the two chemicals to mix. And then if you shake it, it glows in the dark. Although with my light on, you can't really tell that. And then we also have glow-in-the-dark books. This is a fun one that I had bought for my girls when they were little. Uh, you open it up and all of these little spider webs glow in the dark if you expose them to light and then go read them in a dark room. So that's always fun. And then you may or may not know this, but wintergreen lifesavers can give off an emission spectrum. If you put a wintergreen lifesaver in your mouth, and go into a bathroom, make it nice and dark, look in the mirror and bite down on it, you might actually see a, smart, a spark. So wintergreen lifesavers will also give off a very quick emission spectrum. Um, so just a few more fun things that all involve emission spectrum.